Hi, I'm Jeff Ludy, the window expert. Today I want to explain to you what is a thermal break on an aluminum window. Before we jump into that, I want to remind you that if you need windows and you live in Houston or the Dallas-Fort Worth market, check us out, thewindowexperts.com. And by the way, if you live somewhere else, I've got a list of great window companies all over the country. Visit jeffslist.com to see if I have somebody near you. Now, this is an example. This is a, a window that's made by a company called Western. Western is a great aluminum window company. They make really large items and they are based in Phoenix, Arizona. Now, if you know anything about Phoenix, you know that Phoenix gets really hot and you would think to yourself, why would someone who makes an aluminum window, because Jeff, I heard aluminum's not very energy efficient. Why would they make one in Phoenix, Arizona of all places? Well, I'll tell you what, this is not the aluminum that you're used to back in your grandpa's day, or maybe even you have aluminum windows today and you think, uh, you know, Jeff, my aluminum windows, they really, they don't do very well. Well, let's start for a minute talking about aluminum and, and why it is not something that most people prefer when it comes to window material, because you've got vinyl, you've got aluminum, of course, you've got wood, you've got wood with aluminum on the outside as a protective cap, you've got fiberglass, you've got composites. So one of the reasons that people don't like aluminum is because it's such a great conductor of heat. Now think about this. Did you know that high performance NASCAR engines are made out of aluminum, the blocks? Why? Because it helps dissipate the heat more quickly than an old steel block would be like in a Ford truck from 1965, right? Another reason that you see aluminum used in things like, for example, heat sinks on the back of high performance stereo equipment. You see those little fins sticking out of a stereo? Those are made of aluminum because it helps transfer that heat. It takes the heat out of the performance that's happening with your stereo or with your engine and it dissipates it. Well, imagine having the outdoor sun hitting your window. It's going to want to transfer that heat from the outdoors into the indoors because Aluminum is a great conductor. In fact, it also takes the heat right out of your tongue. If you went and licked a, a flagpole in a zero degree weather, it would suck the heat and the moisture right out of your tongue and your tongue would stick to the flagpole like you see in this movie here, if you remember this movie. So what is a thermal break? Here's a thermal break. I'll show it to you from uh, the backside. This right here, it's kind of hard to see because it's the same color but it's a divider that separates the outside of the window from the inside of the window. In other words, we have two aluminum frames, an outside frame, an inside frame. Those two are married together right here with this thermal break. Uh, we also call this sometimes thermally improved windows or someone might call it a thermally broken window. Broken meaning we break the transfer of heat and cold uh, between the two sides. Now here's another way to look at it. You can see right here at the top, it's that part that looks kind of fuzzy and a little furry, that is the thermal break. And this is a non-conductive or very low conductive material because we have conduction here, very little conduction, and then less conduction of that comes through because this serves as a break. It's a divider between the two. Now, in this particular case, I think they did a genius job of it because placement matters as well. They actually placed it between the outside pane of glass and the inside pane of glass in this particular product. So the glass itself is also a thermal break, right? That's why you have two panes of glass. One faces the extreme heat of the outside. The other one faces the air conditioned indoors. And we want those two to not talk to each other. So you have a spacer here that separates the outside pane of glass from the inside pane of glass. Then you have a thermal break here that separates the outside aluminum frame from the inside aluminum frame. And so between those two, you can see that what we're trying to do is keep all the heat on one side, okay? And then keep all the cool on the inside of your house. Now, aluminum is great in heat if you have a thermal break, not great at all if you don't. And I rarely, rarely recommend or see people use aluminum in a cold climate. This thermal break, well, it's just not going to be enough to keep the cold from transferring in, but it does a great job with keeping the heat from transferring in. So I have an example of something that's been baking in the oven behind you. I want you to follow me over here. I took a piece of a cutaway of a thermally improved or thermally broken aluminum frame. This is the from a Euro wall. And you can see if you stand over the top, look at that, that shiny part right there. That right there is the thermal break on this unit. Okay. You can even see it from the side if you want. Take a look at it from the side. 
see how we have the outside frame and then the inside frame and those two are separated by that thermal brick. In that case, they call this actually a strut, okay, a thermal strut. Now I'm gonna take my digital laser pointer and I'm gonna show you, we have this you know, simulated heat from the sun coming at it. And if I point right there, right up against the edge, you see we're at 291 degrees. If I point at the opposite end, the part that's inside your house, look at that, 97 degrees, 101 degrees, 100 degrees. Look at that, look at that difference. What was that? That is 288 degrees, 292 degrees, compared to just uh, right at 100 degrees. What a difference. So think about this. Without that thermal break, the inside would be nearly as hot as the outside. But with a thermal break, we can now have the beauty of aluminum windows, the strength of aluminum, with darn near the energy savings up. Oh, that must be my aluminum window friend calling me. Yes, yes, we have plenty of aluminum windows and we're running an amazing sale today at the Window Experts. Actually, I think that was my wife. You can get a great window, high performance, with all the features you want. In fact, I went through a video, I made a video, you should watch it, I'm gonna put a link here. It's about the top five reasons to pick an aluminum window for your project. So check that out. I hope you enjoy it as much as you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you're looking for a great window company, go to my website, jeffslist.com. Take care.